there is sadly still at the extreme right the attempt to to create something of an Africana republic, even mm. within the new South Africa. And yeah. so, for example, you have a, a little town called Aranya, which is just white Afrikaners that will look back to the golden days or the golden age of the Afrikaner um, republic, if you will. Mm. And I, I'm I'm not sure how if there's how much criticism there is of the racial ideology, but Mm-hmm. But certainly they would like to be their own people and left alone. Yeah. But it's not just, well, we are Afrikaans. It's that we are Afrikaans reformed. Mm-hmm. And with this sort of theocratic um, framework. And so you have that and you've got various iterations of that on the right. So you've got these pockets within South Africa that are sort of self-contained. They're not necessarily communicating or in in um, touch with what's going on in the, the the broader um, debates, like you've got, and, and, and the 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 broader cultural movements. So you've got side by side uh, with this Afrikaans right agenda. You've got sort of communism in its in its classical form. You've got the attempt at uh, liberal democracy, and then you've got cultural Marxism or applied mm-hmm. postmodernism. Mm-hmm. But you've still got these Afrikaans um, bubbles that. That are seeking to sort of perpetuate even the, from what I can tell, speaking to folk firsthand, the fact that you have an RCSA congregation in Orania, which has always been a point of difficulty for me. And, you know, what you might read on websites by Duomenes, uh, uh, pastors within the RCSA and other federations, it's like a, a, a swing back to... Uh, yeah, uh, aspects of apartheid theology, which, you know, I think speak to this, in my opinion, a, 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 a cultural homogeneity that that is so thick for various reasons that it does trump fidelity to scripture, to the Reformed confessions. 